students and good morning parents welcome to adistar international school class 5 mathematics we are in review program chapter 1 numbers and numeration already we had written in the last class write in words write in figures find the phase and the place values answer the following questions expanded form short form and every topic i gave two sum for you to do yourself so now we are going to check your answer let's move now or you get ready so before that you have to take your class of note and take dominator 3 and write in words now we are going to check your answer dominator 3 and write in words first two sum i gave the answer and next three sum you did yourself isn't it so now you check your answer C forty million five hundred thousand one hundred and seventy nine D ninety eight million two hundred and fifty six thousand one hundred and eighty eight E two hundred and fifty six million five hundred and forty five thousand and one hundred and ninety eight So check your answers with the spelling. And no matter four, write in figures. First two sum I gave the answer. And the next three sum you did yourself. Now you check. C two million seven hundred forty four thousand one hundred forty nine. Then D one hundred and five million four thousand nine hundred ninety nine. And then E eighty million two hundred one thousand sixty five. Check your answer thoroughly. And don't matter five. Find the phase value and the place values of. Already I gave two sums over the answer. The next two you did yourself. Is it it? So seven in twenty crore seven lakh five thousand four. So the phase value of seven is seven. The place value of seven in twenty crore seven lakh. Five thousand four is equal to seven is in one lakh place. So seven into one lakh equal to seven lakh. And D five in seven crore six lakh twenty five thousand three hundred and twenty. The phase value of five is in five. The place value of five in seven crore six lakh twenty five thousand three hundred twenty is equal to five is in thousand place so five into thousand is equal to five thousand then dominator six answer the following questions so first sum and second sum i gave the answer with, to you and third one you read it yourself so check your answer find the sum of the place values of three nines in the number Nineteen lakh twenty nine thousand twenty nine. So the solution, the place value of first nine is nine lakh. The place value of second nine is nine thousand. The place value of third nine is nine. So sum means you want to add all the values. So finally you get nine lakh nine thousand nine. And Dominator seven. Write the expanded form. First two sum I give the answer. Next two sum you read yourself. Check once again. Six crore seventy eight lakh forty five thousand six hundred thirty one is equal to six crore plus seventy lakh plus eight lakh plus forty thousand plus five thousand plus six hundred plus thirty plus one and D eighty one lakh twelve thousand six hundred thirty three is equal to eighty lakh plus ten lakh plus ten thousand plus two thousand plus Six hundred plus thirty plus three. Eight. I write the following numbers in short form. First two sums I give the answer. The next two do it was did it was all. So seven crore plus eighty lakh plus forty thousand plus two hundred plus three is equal to seven crore eighty lakh forty thousand two hundred and three. So ten then D sum. Ten crore plus forty lakh plus twenty thousand plus seven hundred plus seven. So Z equal to ten crore forty lakh twenty thousand seven hundred seven. Now let us start to write the third day content part. So now we are going to start to write. So listen to me. 
what and all we are going to write. Okay, let's move to write now. So now take our classwork note, blue pen, black stick, pencil and ruler. Have you taken all those things now? Yeah, let's start to write. Successor and praiser of your number, I write in black in color. Successor of your number, write in black. So the successor of your given number is one more than the number. That write in blue in color, the one and more write in black. Next point, it comes just after the given number. So after alone write in black, remaining write in blue. So successor equal to number plus one. That is write in black in color. Example, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So, how I gave you like that, you had to present in your class of note. So, already told that without margin, you do not start any other thing. So, first you draw the margin and then you start to write. The next one, predecessor of your number. The predecessor of your given number is 1 less than the number. Next point, it comes just before the given number. So, predecessor equal to number minus 1. For example, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. The next row letter 9 we are going to write. I write the predecessor and the successor of a number. So, first you draw the box. First column you fill with the number. Second column fill with the predecessor. And third column fill with the successor. So, one example I gave for you. Remaining two you have to do yourself. So, 7,861,017. What is the predecessor of this number? 7,861,069. So, the last two digits, 70 before, what will come? 69. After number, 71. So, in the successor, 7,861,071. So, you had to do remaining two sum yourself. Then ascending order and descending order. Ascending order means it means arranging numbers from the smallest to the greatest. Descending order means arranging numbers from the greatest to the smallest. Remember 10 arrange the following numbers in ascending order. Arrange the numbers from small to big. A 21,15,005 21,51,007 21,51,500 21,15,500 The answer is given that 21,15,005 is less than 21,15,500 is less than 21,51,005 is less than 21,51,500 So first number I gave for you The next two number Two sum you have to do yourself the numerator 11, arrange the following numbers in descending order. Descending order means you want to arrange the numbers from big to small. A. 7,431,865 7 7 7,134,865 7,314,865 7,414,865 so you have to check all those numbers which is the greatest one you write number one above the number. Then remaining three numbers you want to find which is the greatest one. Then you write two above the number. Then remaining two numbers which is the greatest one. Then write number three above the number. Then last write number four. Okay. So you want to write the numbers according to the number wise. So that is biggest to smallest. So answer 7,431,865 is greater than 7,413,865 is greater than 7,314,865 is greater than 7,134,865. So, one I gave the answer and the remaining two you do yourself. 
then formation of the greatest and smallest numbers write on the heading with the black in color remaining write in blue in color so the points first point to get the greatest number we arrange the given digit in descending order and second point to get the smallest number we arrange the given digit in ascending order okay cumulative 12 write the smallest and the greatest seven digit numbers without repeating a digit using the following numbers here seven numbers are given what are they 5 4 3 7 1 0 2 okay these seven numbers are used to form the greatest seven digit number the smallest seven digit number okay first we are going to find right solution arranging the digit in ascending order so we get 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 7 okay so using that number you are going to make the smallest seven digit number as so the zero before coming the number it won't come valuable isn't it so the zero always will come the second place after the number so don't forget this point so zero will come in the second place so one then zero will come okay so 10 lakh 23457 arranging the digit in descending order we get 7 comma 5 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 comma 1 comma 0 the greatest is seven digit number is 75 lakh 43210 and then second sum is given for you you do yourself like that roman letter 13 write the smallest and the greatest seven digit numbers you may repeat a digit using the following digits a 4 3 0 5 9 solution arranging the digits in ascending order we get 0 3 4 5 8 9 we need to make seven digit number but we have only the six numbers isn't it so which is the smallest one that you should be written one more time okay so 0 0 3 4 5 8 the zero won't come first so it or it always come in second place i told the smallest seven digit number is 30 Lakh four thousand five hundred and eighty nine. Arranging the digits in descending order, we get nine eight five four three zero. So here, which is the greatest one? That we need to write one more time. So nine, we want to write one more time. So nine nine eight five four three zero. So the greatest seven digit number is ninety nine lakh eighty five thousand four hundred and thirty. So second sum I gave for you to do yourself. So do. Do my letter fourteen. Fill in the blanks. A one lakh equal to thousand hundreds. That one lakh you had to convert into numerals. One lakh one zero 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 in hundreds. Right below that, here hundred two zero on right, here five zero on left. So you have to cancel two zero in the lakh. So remaining how much you have that you want to write in the dash. Already you know well. You did in your math book also. The same thing I asked to write in the classwork also. So P one million equal to ten lakhs, and C one crore equal to dash million, D one thousand equal to dash tens. the last two things you have to do yourself thank you children complete the class work and take snap and send all the images through edstore.fi@gmail.com thank you children thank you parents